Welcome to lesson two, straightening and cropping the image in Photoshop. There's two different ways of cropping and straightening an image. I'm gonna show you uh, the book way, and I'm gonna show you another way that I usually use to straighten and crop an image. To straighten and crop an image, we're gonna use a crop tool. And the crop tool, if we don't know which one it is, all we have to do is mouse over the tools until we see something called the crop tool. There's my crop tool. Please note that the crop tool might be underneath other tools like slicer tool, or slicer select tool, or perspective crop tool. We're just going to go ahead and select the crop tool. Notice when we select the crop tool, our context menu has changed. We're seeing all the options for cropping different image sizes, four by six, five by three. These are standard image crops we can, that we used in the past. Uh, we can also see there's a straighten ruler to use to straighten. This is the way the book is gonna show us to straighten the image by left clicking, then positioning this first point anywhere on the image, on the straight line, on the edge, and dragging that edge to a different edge. And the image is straightened. If you like the way the image looks and you did a good job, you can commit. I'm going to undo and redo the, the straightening tool to show you that you can do it in other ways. You can actually see and use the straighten tool on other parts of the image. For instance, you can go up and down you can go vertical to straighten, or you can see this line in the image that I'm going to use to straighten the image. Look at that. And there's my image that is straightened based on this border, this ledge that uh, people are leaning against. Now, at the same time, when you did a straightening, you can actually resize the image. Notice that they want you to resize it, uh, straighten it in a different way because notice the image is not quite fitting because you can see the white lines. That means I'm going to have to crop more of the image in order to make it the white space disappear, which is going to be an issue for us because we're trying going to start working on the building and notice that we're going to be cropping some of the buildings right in a few minutes if I say commit. So let me go ahead and do undo and use the straightening tool in this fashion to straighten my image out. Now I'm going to drag my corners to the actual area and get, get rid of all the white space around the image. And this is a crop. We straightened it, we cropped it, and now we're going to commit. Notice I didn't uh, drag it, the corners far enough. You can see these white areas, we can recrop. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo my crop. And I'm gonna show you a different way to crop. So we're gonna use the crop tool. And all I'm going to do is go one of the corners and I'm going to just wait till the image changes and bam. Notice I went to the corner with my cursor until I get this double headed 90 degrees cursor. And then I can rotate the image as I need. Let me line it up. Make it nice and straight. There we go. Now I'm gonna drag in the corners for my crop after straightening the image. And now I'm gonna commit. That just straightened my image. We just learned how to straighten and crop our image in two different ways. 